New at 11, a new center opening new opportunities for parents and their kids who experience life on the autism spectrum. We've seen the learning challenges the pandemic sparked, and now leaders at Autism Charlotte believe this latest solution could help make all the difference. But as they told our Brianna Harper, they can't make it happen on their own. One in 44 children in the U.S. are diagnosed with autism, and more than 7,000 of those kids live right here in the Charlotte-Mecklenburg community. Experts say in order to reach their full success, they need the resources. And that's where the, the Autism Charlotte Center comes in, meeting their educational and social needs. So we had the opportunity in a small setting, one-on-one, -on -one, to work with them on things like communication and sharing and expressing their feelings. And Autism and Charlotte CEO now. Valerie Isaiah gave us a tour of the new center and the vision in mind. In this space is our after school space, so our school age students um, will be in here doing their homework. But you'll notice there's still a need for furniture, special equipment and supplies to bring this idea to reality. We got to make this beautiful facility home. And while Autism Charlotte was able to successfully secure a building, the next step is to build an enclosed low profile playground for all the kids to enjoy including preschool children. Once the center opens in early 2023, Autism Charlotte will offer the area's only full day program for preschool children on the spectrum, a need that is growing as more children are diagnosed younger and younger. You know, we're just starting to try to move the needle, but we can't do it by ourselves. We need our community behind us to make this happen. Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte. In the long term, Autism Charlotte hopes to have four centers like this all across the city. If you'd like to help in their Place to Call Home campaign, head over to our website at WCNC.com to find a link included in this story where you can donate.